Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chichi with the Chimaya Shop and I make videos all about making and selling Brazilian American themed handmade soaps and candles. And for today's video, I am making an all natural organic acai berry handmade soap. As you can see here, I just added my acai berry oil to my liquid oils. I am hand mixing until everything is well incorporated. Acai berry oil has a very high content of antioxidants and that's why it has a very dense and dark green color. And it also smells like a very dark green grass scent. Um, if you'd like to purchase some, I purchased mine from Rainforest Chica. She is the nicest, sweetest lady I've met so far and she brings top-notch oils and butter straight from the Amazon Rainforest. I will leave her link down in the description box below. I'm going to do a quick immersion blend because, you know, I gotta pass emulsification and also I'm splitting the bladder into two portions. Now it's time to add my natural colorants and today I'm using purple Brazilian clay. Purple Brazilian clay provides a exfoliant which removes dead skin cells and also gives the soap a silky lather and it leaves the skin super soft. Also I'm adding today an acai organic powder that I purchased in Amazon. I'll also leave the link down below. The reason why I'm adding the acai powder because the acai powder also has a high content of antioxidants. This acai powder can also be used to make smoothies or add into your daily diet. Now I'm adding my fragrance oil. My fragrance oil of the day is acai berry where I purchased from New Directions a couple months ago. This scent it smells sweet, just like fresh acai berries, but I did notice an after scent of this fragrance. I'm hoping that that after scent will go away after the soap cures. So for now, I'm just blending my acai powder. Of course, I should have blend the acai powder into a liquid oil, but you know, I didn't. So here it is. It still came out great. The pour is amazing. The fragrance oil is working delightful. There's no acceleration, which is great. And I'm truly hoping that the difference of the colors will show once I cut the soap. I'm just doing a drop and swirl. Simple design for the soap. My goal here is just to provide the properties of the acai berry oil and the acai powder. Now it's time to texture the top of the soap. I am keeping it super simple. I'm using a popsicle stick today. And for me, this part is my favorite part because you can be as creative as you like. And this part is also optional. You don't have to design the top of the soap if you don't want to. I'm adding some juniper berry seeds on top of the soap. I am placing them in between the inch mark because my soap cutter measures one inch apart. Now we're all done. We'll come back in 24 hours to cut the soap. Now the soap is all ready. As you can see here, I have major soda ash. I was not expecting that. But for me, soda ash does not bother me. I think it gives the soap its own unique personality. As you can see here is only the top that has the soda ash and also look inside the soap. It's not as dark of a purple that I would like, but I'm still very pleased with the result. Anyways, I want to take some time today and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Now we are 86 subscribers. Thank you so much. I only started with two and I cannot wait to show you guys what else I have planned for the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you really love my videos, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and I hope to see you guys again. Bye!